We're going to take a look at the Lithionics 315 amp hour batteries today. Now this option uh, is available on the Oliver Legacy Elite 2 only. Uh, these batteries are too large to fit in the uh, smaller Elite. Now you do get two batteries. Each battery is 315 amp hours, which gives you a total 630. With the lithium battery, you have the availability to use up to 100% uh, of the charge state. Uh, it's a little different from uh, like an AGM or standard 12 volt where you roughly get about 50% before it drops below 12 volts. With the Lithionics lithium batteries, you can actually utilize up to 90% uh, of the battery's charge uh, at 12 volts or higher. Uh, it'll at that point, it'll actually power off and, and reserve that last 10%. Uh, you can, of course, choose to go ahead and turn the battery back on and utilize the last 10% of the battery charge. That last bit will be below 12 volts, uh, and I believe it's 10 and a half to 11.9 volts in that last 10% state. Now, with this particular Lithionics battery, the 315 amp, has an internal heat mat. Uh, it's going to control that when it needs to, so you don't have to worry about being out in the cold uh, and being able to charge these batteries. All that's going to function inside with the battery management system. Again, the cold temperature cutoff is below the 32 degrees for charging the batteries, and the cutoff is below zero degrees for discharging. Now, looking at the top, you'll see the two little blue uh, LED rings. Uh, that indicates that these batteries are turned on. Sometimes you'll notice that they're flashing, uh, which will tell you that they're being charged. Um, now, as far as charging these batteries, that's, it's a lot of power. Uh, so your solar, if you get the solar package with this, uh, it's going to charge at a much slower rate than what you're capable of using out of this battery, which means you will have to manage that, uh, that use a little bit. Now with the standard generator or your shore power connection, you're gonna be charging the 12 volt batteries at 120 volts going into the charger, which will then uh, push the appropriate amount of voltage, uh, roughly 14.4 volts uh, in bulk charge and absorption um, modes. Uh, in the bulk charge rate, it's going to push quite a bit of amperage into the batteries to bring it up as quick as possible. However, that is controlled within the settings of the charger. The settings can be changed inside the charger, but we typically set it for 150 amps per hour, uh, reaching full charge state as quickly as four hours. Uh, once it goes from the bulk charge state into the absorption mode, uh, it's gonna start to slow down the amount of amps going into the batteries uh, and a full charge cycle for batteries through bulk charge absorption and the float. Float mode is uh, kind of like a trickle charge, uh, maintaining the battery at the top end level of it. Uh, it. It can take several hours, the bulk charge rate itself being five to six. During bulk charge, when the uh, charger is set to 150 amps per hour, uh, you can reach full charge in as quickly as four hours. Now with these batteries, because they don't operate the same as a standard 12 volt or AGM battery, instead of looking at the voltage display inside the camper, you will want to download and monitor these batteries utilizing the Lithionics battery app. That battery app is gonna show you the true state of charge in the battery uh, based on percentages. So that way you can see where the battery percent is. Uh, once it gets down below 50%, you, you'll definitely want to start uh, watching what you're using uh, and keep in mind that you may want to, to get a charge. Now, if you're hooked up to shore power, uh, it's, it's not going to be an issue. They could, should continue staying in, in a charge rate and keeping it in float, uh, maintaining the voltage and the amperage inside. Uh, it's just when you're boondocking or not hooked to shore power where you're utilizing that 12 volt battery power uh, that you definitely want to keep an eye on it. Uh, now let's uh, talk about storage. Uh, storage on any lithium battery, typically what they recommend is to discharge the battery to about 50% and then you'd want to turn the battery off. There is a 12 volt breaker inside the camper. However, um, it does not disconnect all of the loads. Uh, also keep in mind that weather conditions do also impact the discharge of a battery, even if it's not connected and just sitting on a shelf. Um, 
as it's sitting there for at 50% state of charge, you will want to actually go and check on it occasionally. And if it's in storage longer than six months, you would want to go back out, fully charge it, uh, and then discharge back down to 50 before it could be stored again for up to another six months. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Lithionics battery app. Now you will need to download this and uh, we will definitely give you some instructions on how to download it from the uh, Google store uh, or the iTunes app store. Uh, once you have it, you would just simply click the app. Once it pulls up, it's gonna Bluetooth connect to any battery in the vicinity. So you will need to make sure that you get the number of your battery. Uh, the number of your battery is located on the top of the battery itself. Uh, and you would just find that number and then locate it uh, on the phone. Once you locate it on the phone, you'll select each battery. Now this goes into each individual battery itself. It does not look at this as a, a battery bank uh, but once you're inside, you can take a look. It shows you what the current voltage is. If there's any current, either um, a load is going to show as a red number, uh, which means you are drawing from the batteries. Anything showing in green is going to show that the batteries are charged. Now, this particular one is at 100% right now, so there's no real charge state, and there's no load coming on the battery. Uh, we can also see the battery temperature in here. Uh, and how, how much time we have left roughly um, with the current state of the battery and the current load. Uh, you can also see any status codes uh, if something's going on and of course the state of the battery is on. You can scroll to the next screen, get a little bit more information broken down in a table view. You can actually see each individual cell uh, inside the app itself. So you can see each cell and what the voltage is in that. Uh, once you've checked one, uh, roughly both batteries should look the same. However, you can choose the other, uh, go into it and take a look at what that battery shows. Uh, this one roughly is the same. We see roughly the same voltage, no current draw right now, uh, and the battery temperature is fairly the same between the, the two of them. Uh, once you're done, you can just simply uh, close the app. Now, I would like to tell you, once you log into this battery on this device, if you have more than one uh, device, a uh, um, tablet and a phone, this device is currently locked. A tablet will not be able to even see this battery to log into it until I get completely out of it and disconnect from the app, uh, which would actually have to be closed completely out.